Hi everyone, it's Cassie here. I hope you're doing great today. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new house tour. So today is it about a house that I've done for my not so berry challenge and I think it's um, for the fifth generation that you need to live in three different worlds. So yeah, I thought why not um, build my own houses because <laughs> I, I love to build. So yes. This one, um, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'm pretty happy with the, how the house came out. Um, usually I'm not 100% happy with the shape of the house and um, I always have some, something uh, that, that's bothering me. Sorry for my English. It's been a while since I've done English voiceovers. So bear with me. <laughs> um, so yeah, tell me what you think of the house. Uh, I think I took the inspiration of uh, on the website. Um, I don't really uh, go on Pinterest. I know a lot of people, uh, well, a lot of builders uh, go on Pinterest to have some inspiration. I don't go there. I think I have some uh, plants websites. Yeah, I don't remember the, the name. Of the websites but yes um so this is a family house it's a pretty big house because i love to um make a lot of babies <laughs> in the sims basically so yes um besides um in the not so berry challenge you don't really have um like uh, an obligation to make uh, a precise number of babies if i may say um on the first or second generation, there was an obligation, uh, a restriction, I don't know. But um, after that, I, um, I could do as many babies as I wanted. So yeah, so here's the back of the house. Um, it's a little garden, not really much to it, uh, just a pool. Uh, and uh, a family area for um, a grill area and uh, you can uh, tan <laughs> in here and um, you have a flower arrangement table and um, a sitting area with a I think it's a fire pit table um, if I'm not mistaken so here we go you have first uh, an entryway uh, not really interesting it's just an entryway <laughs> so yes you can sit here and uh, in there you have a, a bathroom. I wasn't really thinking about doing a bathroom in here at first. I just wanted to, um, you know, make a room for laundry, a laundry room. How do you say that in English? I don't know. Uh, but it was really, really um, a big room after all. So I decided to make a, a full bathroom. So yes, in you, ca you have, um, a little box. So there you have uh, the living room, if I can say. Um, the house is working uh, properly because I played in it. I built it for myself at first. So while I was playing, uh, I made sure everything worked, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Otherwise, I couldn't play. So um, yeah, everything is functional. You have a football in here and a big screen and uh, it's open to a kitchen and I mixed a lot of uh, styles and packs and I really like it. I hope you like it too. <laughs> Tell me what you think. You have furniture from Jungle, Jungle Adventure and um, Parenthood and Island Living, you know, and I really like uh, that the colors really match. So yes, uh, you have a little table here and a bar and uh, yeah I think you have a cat bowl yeah <laughs> okay you can have a cat or a dog if you prefer and then you have another living room just a fireplace no TV in here and you have the access to um, the the backyard and uh, to the top floor First floor, second floor, I don't know how you say it, uh, depends on where you live, <laughs> I think. And in here you have a little area with a bookcase, um, a chase ta table, a guitar, and uh, it's just really a nice quiet place, I think. In here you have the hallway and you have four bedrooms and two bathrooms upstairs. So this is the first one. Um, 
at first I did my bedroom like um, one color per room, you know, because it's not so berry, so every generation um, has a color. So I tend to stick with that and then I just changed it so I can share it with you um, without being really um, bright, too colorful maybe, <laughs> you know. So um, it's really nice colors and uh, like pastels colors, I think. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, the first one and then uh, next to it you have the toddler's room uh, which is really colorful because you know it's toddlers. <laughs> so with me, toddlers and um, kids tend to have really really colorful uh, bedrooms. I think it's nice. Um, so you have uh, three beds, yes, and um, really all sorts sorts of activities for um, their skills, you know. Um, and yes, you have um, a really pretty bedroom and uh, you can have a lot of kids with it. <laughs> okay, and next to it you have a really, really small bathroom, uh, just um, with the necessary furnitures. <laughs> and then you have another bedroom. Once again, really pretty colors. Um, it's really bright, but not too bright. Um, I really love this bedroom too. And uh, the last one is for the kids or the teenagers. You have a double bed in here and a single bed in here. I really love this bedroom too. Um, I tend to do, as I was saying, really uh, big families. So when I do um, toddler's room or kids or teenager's rooms, um, it's always with several beds because um, I need them, <laughs> obviously. And then the last um, room is a bathroom and it's um, bigger, <laughs> obviously. And um, you can add in here like a plant or a basket for the laundry, you know. Uh, I think I removed it because I didn't play with the laundry and um, I don't know, it's an empty space so I think I just removed it and uh, didn't put it back. So if you want to add something in here you can. And uh, yeah, that's it. If you want to see the plants, here we are. So you have one, two, three, four bedrooms, two bathrooms and uh, here's um, the first floor and uh, yeah, I really really love this house um, Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it If you want to download the house uh, you have the link to the gallery website uh, in the description down below um, And you have also my ID if you want to check it out in game and yeah Thank you so much for watching. I hope you will have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys